The latest theory in the D.B. Cooper mystery. A Michigan man is claiming he was best friends with a notorious skyjacker and get this, got a taped confession from him before he died. While you're listening to the story, let us know if you believe this new theory by voting on KGW.com slash vote or on your KGW app. KGW's Catherine Cook has the story for us, including those audio recordings. She's live in the KGW News Archives. Catherine, what'd you find down there? Laurel, all of D.B. Cooper's money. Just kidding. A lot of cool stuff, though. KGW has been covering this story for decades. Here's proof. Check this out. This is our master D.B. Cooper tape dubbed from file. We've brought this out countless times for countless D.B. Cooper theories. Who knows? Maybe this one is finally the theory to keep the tape on the shelf. I believe that Walter Recca is D.B. Cooper. If the latest theory is true, then this... This is a hijack and I've got explosives. ...is the voice of D.B. Cooper. And I says, I can't believe it either, but I'm serious. Or as Carl Lauren knew him, Walter Rica. When he died, we were best friends. Lauren, who lives in Michigan, believes Rica was the notorious skyjacker. On November 24th, 1971, Cooper, perhaps Rica, hijacked a flight from Portland to Seattle. He gave a flight attendant a note that read, Miss, I have a bomb in my briefcase. Cooper exchanged the passengers for 200000 in cash and parachutes. Two reserves and two backpacks. Then jumped out of the plane over the Oregon-Washington line. After joking about it for years, Lauren says in 2008, Rika called him and confessed in this tape conversation. And he said, I am D.B. Cooper. You never talked personally, you said, to the cockpit crew. No, I talked to the uh, stewardess and the stewardess relayed the message to the cockpit. Lauren and others launched a secret two-year-long investigation into Rika's claim. They published their findings in a new book. At a news conference in Michigan, the publisher introduced part of the team, including private investigator Joe Koenig. Walt, if still alive, would be prosecuted for the hijacking of Northwest 305. And then there's Jeff Oshadis. He claims to have run into Rika at a Washington restaurant within an hour of his jump. I thought, you know, this guy's got to be a French fry short of a Happy Meal. It's snowing and raining out there. It's cold. And he's got his coat rolled up under his arm. Perhaps it was all part of the plan. Took my belt from around my waist, tied it around my raincoat, put the money in there, I just buttoned it all the way up to my neck. And then put the parachute on. Yeah. Back live in the KGW archives, here's a closer look at this special tape. It says, save till D.B. Cooper caught. Laurel, we might be holding on to this one for a while. Back to you. Well, it sure is intriguing. Thank you, Catherine.